Well, Seven Hills is bringing back an event that allows guests to have a good time and chill. So we've got Christina and Becky here to share the details on Seven Hills Chills. Good hey, morning. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. good. Thank you so much for being here. We're so glad to be here. Yeah. So to start things off, can you just talk about Seven Hills? Well, so Seven Hills has been around for 25 years. You know, for a long time we offered day services and places for people to come for immediate needs. In March, we opened our overnight shelter. Okay. And are already seeing some major successes with people moving out. 13 people have been housed. We have people getting jobs. And we're just really focusing on a way to minimize the amount of people who are unsheltered. Yeah. So it's been a good few months. And ha is that a big need in the community? Have you seen that grown over it, the time Seven Hills has been around? It is. I mean, Northwest Arkansas as a whole is seeing the population mm -hmm. of people who are unsheltered increase. And so, but you know, Fayetteville is kind of a special community and um, we're kind of really committed to finding a solution and something that we could potentially share to other communities so that they have a response. And so, you know, working with the city as a partner and, you know, other people in some churches, it's just, you know, we're committed to make it work. Yes, so. absolutely. Yeah. Well, you got this big event coming up. What do we, we do? need to know about that? Oh, wow. Chill with the Hills, September mm -hmm. the 22nd from 12 to 5 at the Elks Club. Um, it's going to be fun. It's family friendly. Okay. Um, we'd like to think it might be one of the largest family friendly crazy we events sure that's hope happening so. that time of year. We're very sensitive to the Razorback schedule. Sure. We did that oh, in, that's great. Yeah. And okay. making sure. But we've got some great sponsors Northwest Arkansas Eye Center and Interest mm -hmm. Bank, and many, many more people have kind of come together. And so it's going to be a lot of live music. Okay. There's going to be activities for the kids, so while the parents are having fun, yeah. um, there's going to be activities for the kids as well in a safe environment. And tell us about our volunteers that are coming out to help with that event. So we have um, the University of Arkansas nursing students wow. are going to be part wow. of the volunteers for that day. Cool. And we also have the Bucks coming in to help out, and it's going to be a great day. Yeah, yeah definitely yeah. going to be a huge celebration. Maybe you can talk about some of the challenges that you all face and how we can get involved yeah. with helping you solve those challenges. So much of it is awareness. Like, right, the last couple of months and the last year, it's like educate and engage. And so, right. you know, homelessness is not something that we can all relate to. Being housed is something that we can relate to, or having a job is something that we can relate to. And so, you know, I think one of the things is really advocating for the people who we see on a daily basis. I think there's a misconception that people who are unsheltered aren't from our area, and they are. You know, 70% of the people that we see are from the Northwest Arkansas sure. area. And we're seeing an average age at our day center of like 54 to 62. And so it's not a younger population. Like on the East Coast and the West Coast, they're seeing a lot of younger population of people who are unsheltered, but it's really our, our community members that are struggling. And so, you know, there's got, we have to have some patience, but there is a way to reach yeah. out and help, and we can do that. And so if people want to help, how can they help us? You can reach out to us at, um, on our website, sevenhillcenter.org, or you can call us and um, see, you know, how you can get involved yeah. and what, what you can do. And we'll, we'll plug you in. Yeah. Oh, You'll find yeah. a place yeah. for people yeah. who are yeah. willing to give up yes. some time. Okay. Um, also, talk about this event. How, did the, how does the event like this go to support you and the mission of Seven Hills? Absolutely. Well, you know, every single bit of the event goes back to our operations. Right now, we're seeing that shelter is where we're putting a lot of our funding. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to help us fund the shelter. And so people will come in. It's a free entry. But okay. there's tickets. There are tickets. It's very, not very, it's a carnival ass, yes. right? Okay. And so activity bands for the kids are, is it $10 for the kids? Mm -hmm. And then you can, you know, Kinder's is providing the food for us, and so it's $5 for a plate. And so okay. it's, we want it to be affordable and fun mm -hmm. and full of activity. But yeah, people can come out and, and there'll be some time for them to learn a little bit more about the organization as well while sure. they're there. Well, give us those details again on when and where it's all going down. September the 22nd from okay. 12 to 5 at the Elks Club. Yeah. And what is, do you know that address by heart? It's 444 North Crossover Road. Man, just she pop does. it off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got it memorized. I love it. That's well, thank awesome. you. You're going to have thank a great event. Thank you so much yes. for everything that you yeah. do for us. Thank Absolutely. you. Thanks for coming on. Yeah.